world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. Now, I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. These videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, I'll point you in the right direction for tons of videos at the end of this episode episode today. The focus for this week is drum roll. Multi-select. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one out on your own first. Then when you're ready to check your work, press play, come on back and see me and we'll get to it. All right, welcome back fourth grade, here we go. So this one says, Grace compares the following values, one and a half, three eighths, and eight thirds. Select all comparisons that are true. So we have three different fractions, one and a half, that's a mixed number, three eighths, that's actually a fraction that's less than one, and eight thirds is a fraction greater than one. So I know a little bit about these fractions already. So the very first thing that I'm noticing is that three eighths, three eighths, that's a fraction that is less than one, while the other two, one and a half and eight thirds are fractions that are greater than one whole. So I know that three eighths is going to be my smallest fraction. Now it comes down to one and a half and eight thirds. So I'm gonna go ahead and compare those a little bit just to see. Um, I know that one and a half, if I'm thinking about it on a number line, this would be zero, this could be one, and if right here is two, then one and a half is about right here. That's one and a half. And then eight thirds eight thirds. Let me decompose that fraction to see how many holes I can get out of it. So I can get one hole, that would be three thirds. Three thirds plus three thirds is six thirds. Then I add on two more thirds to get eight thirds. So three thirds, that's one hole. Three thirds, that's two holes. That would be two holes and two thirds, which would be past this amount. So if I'm continuing my number line, so if I continue my number line to another hole of three, two and two thirds would be right about here. That's two and two thirds, which is the same thing as eight thirds. So we have one and a half, we have eight thirds right there. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put on my three eighths just in case. So I know that in between zero and one, I need to break that into eighths. So first I'll break it into half and then break it into um, eight equal parts and three eighths would be right here. Okay, so now I can see everything nice and clearly, which will make it so much more simple for me to go back and check each answer, cho each answer choice. So the first one says eight thirds is greater than one half. Well, according to my number line, that is true because eight thirds goes farther along. So I can mark that one as true. The next one says three eighths is greater than eight thirds. Should we keep that one or eliminate it? Let's eliminate that one because three eighths is way less. I can see that on my number line. So no, we're gonna eliminate that one. Let me move on to one and a half is less than three eighths. What do you think? Keep that one or eliminate? Yeah, we need to eliminate that one because one and a half is greater than three eighths. So no to that one. Over here it says eight thirds is greater than one and a half. Is that true? Yes, that is true. Eight thirds is greater than one and a half. I can see that on my number line that I've created. All right, and then we're looking at one and a half, is that greater than three eighths? Yes, so we can go ahead and keep this one. This is a great answer choice. There we go. All right, let's take a look at the next one. It says three eighths is less than eight thirds. What do you think, is that true? That is true, so so far we're looking good. All right, now is eight thirds less than one and a half? 
Is that true? No, that one is not true because 8 thirds over here is greater than one and a half, not less than. So we can go ahead and eliminate that one. All right, and our final one says that one and a half is greater than three eighths. Is that true? It is true. So we can go ahead and keep that one. Let's mark it. So we've got three answer choices for this one. Go ahead and pause the video to jot down any notes that you still need to make. And when you're ready to close out this video lesson today, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good it's the one thing we do that makes us good if you want to get better stronger more confident with anything you've got to dedicate time to intentional practice and that means throwing down your best effort each and every time i believe in you and i will see you next time world changers